Congratulations on the Best New Tech Product Award. Uh, and it seems like you are in the kind of Internet of Things area, working specifically with uh, aging machinery. Just talk about uh, talk about the product, if you well, will. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, we are an industrial IoT company, Industrial Internet of Things. We provide a hardware and software platform to help make machines smarter. I'm talking about the types of machines you would see on a factory floor. Uh, we have a four-part solution to sense, connect, visualize, and analyze machine data help transform aging infrastructure into smart machines, eliminate machine downtime, optimize industrial efficiencies. Well, obviously this is a great state to do that kind of work, major manufacturing here. Uh, what, what has been the response from companies that you've been working with? It's been fantastic. Um, you know, industrial IoT uh, technology to help transform machines into smart machines has so far been very complex, very expensive. Um, uh, requires months of uh, commissioning projects, six-figure, seven-figure budgets. Um, we provide a solution that is plug-and-play, requires zero infrastructure upgrades, is set up in, within two hours, and is, is OPEX item, not CAPEX. So the response from customers is this is too good to be true, and which is great when we're in sales meetings. <laughs> right. Well, it, um, you know, obviously there there's a lot that would go into this, but so much as you can, what what does this enable a manufacturing company to do that they're unable to do now? Right, so let me start from the beginning. I mean, in the last 200 years, we've seen three different industrial revolutions with the invention of the steam engine, then semiconductors, then electricity, uh, or electricity, then semiconductors. But since then, technological progress kind of slowed down on the space. Today, three out of four machines are more than 20 years old. Uh, um, all the infrastructure is aging, but demand, from, demand for output from these machines has never been higher. Um, down, uh, machines are being pushed to the limit, which results in expensive downtime. Um, $20 billion is the cost of unplanned downtime in the U.S. industrial economy. And that's because most of these machines are being run blind. Um, today, less than 14% of machines are connected to a network or produce any type of real live data on performance, performance and reliability. I mean, in a world where uh, data-driven technologies have transformed personal lives, industrial facilities are behind. So what we enable is by driving visibility and transparency across industrial operations, um, we help improve machine uh, availability and uptime and help industrial manufacturing companies drive uh, capacities and top-line revenue growth. At the same time, we help them manage their cost centers by reducing cost of downtime, number of downtime incidents, cost of inventory management, cost of safety. So it's kind of two birds with one stone that drives triple-digit ROIs. Well, and, and something you had said about you know, revolutionizing our personal lives, you know, houses are smart now, cars are, your fitness yep. regimen is smart now. Is this something you think that can be as disruptive to the manufacturing industry as this other technology has been in other areas? Absolutely. In the industrial domain after steam, electric, uh, electricity, and semiconductors, the fourth industrial revolution is being led by the introduction of sensors and big data analytics in the industrial domain. And with our technology and unparalleled user experience, we're in strong position to be a key player in, in the Industry 4.0 movement.